friends, it's Gwen. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with a huge summer book haul. I am literally surrounded by books, both books I have purchased, books I have gotten at the book exchange for free from my friends, books that were sent to me from publishers and authors and poets. So I want to share that all with you, but I also want to share some beautiful summer go-to pieces that I got from Ana Luisa. If you don't know anything about Ana Luisa, they are this like high-end luxury jewelry brand without the luxury mark up prices. They are all about supporting Mother Earth. They offset 100% of their carbon emissions. And I have a link for you guys. If you check the description box, I have a link that will give you 20% off of their site. I definitely think you're going to want to pick up some pieces after you see the pieces that I show you. So I have two necklaces and two sets of earrings and I am in love with them. I am super hard on jewelry because I forget to take it off when I'm like taking a shower I go to the beach um so like I'm in salt water I'm in fresh water and I forget to take my jewelry off and I'm very sensitive to jewelry like not lasting on me like I can't just go to like Urban Outfitters and get a ring or a bracelet and not have that green ring like around wherever I put it on both Ana Luisa never fear they are here on my side beautiful they're classic they're timeless I think you can dress them up you can dress them down and you only need a few pieces and you can combine them with different outfits and get a whole array of summer looks so the pieces that I want to share with you today are the earrings that I'm wearing right now these are the summer sunset earrings and I am in love with these. These are probably, I don't know, I want to say these are my favorite, but like all of them are my favorite. So I think these would be really pretty if you take like pictures during sunrise or sunset because I just think they have like really great colors. You can wear them with like a solid color or you know a dress, a shirt, whatever you want, but I absolutely love these. Pretty Are they not like these are so pretty and they're not heavy. They don't tug on my earlobes. I just absolutely love them so much. They're like a hoop, but like classier, you know, it's like a hoop, but let's make it classy. And I just think they add that pop of color that every summer outfit needs. The next pair are very similar, but um, I have these that are a little bit like more funky and fun. Um, I love the organic shapes on these. Um, they have like the primary colors with like a little bit of green in them. So you just pop them in. They go on super easily and yeah, it just adds that pop of color that like your outfits need and you just feel so much more polished when you put on a piece of Ana Luisa jewelry. Um, so yeah, so these are the earrings. Absolutely love them. Gold accents, great enamel with art. Love that. And then I have two necklaces. So the one that I have been wearing the longest, and this is the one that I've been like <laughs> really, really hard on. It looks like this and it's immediately going back on as soon as I show you the other one. So it just says smile. It's like a nameplate, but it's so like understated and classy. You can wear it with whatever you want. Again, I have been wearing this in the shower, in the ocean, all summer long. So yeah, you've probably been seeing this a bunch as well. All right, so now let's jump into the book haul portion of today's video. Um, I have a lot of books, so I'm going to try to go through these as fast as possible. The first group of books are books that I purchased myself. So you guys know I'm on a Chevy Stevens kick. I'm trying to collect all of her books, so I got Never Knowing. I also picked up Falling by T.J. Newman. This is a new thriller, and I picked this up at Target. Um, I got the, these two books, no, three books. Um, I actually got the, these three books on my vacation. I got this book um, at the Roanoke, what is it called? The Roanoke Island Festival Park in like the gift shop. It's called The Lost Colony Murder on Outer Bank, Seeking Justice for Brenda Joyce Holland by John Riley. So this is like a nonfiction book, obviously. Um, and it has lots and lots of pictures and stuff like that. But it is about a murder that happened in the Outer Banks, which is only like an hour and a half away from me. It's where I spent my summer vacation in the Outer Banks. So I just thought this would be a really fun nonfiction to add to my shelves. I also picked up, and I didn't know this at the time, but I picked up two books by the same author. 
I picked up The Editor by Stephen Rawley and The Gunkle by Stephen Rawley. So this is the one that was on my most anticipated list. This is about an uncle that is gay and his sister um, tragically dies and his niece and his nephew have to come live with them. And I also saw this one and what drew me in was obviously the cover. Most importantly, it's blurbed right here on the cover by Taylor Jenkins Reid. Equally laugh out loud funny and searingly poignant. So yeah, I'm really, really excited about this one. One, I'm going to buddy read this with um, Sarah from Sarah Shelves. It's a thick one. It'll be my second book by this author. I also picked up some horror novellas from Weird Punk Books. I got a bunch of these. I've been sharing these on my Instagram. Um, I did a haul in, did I do it in a video? I don't know. I did like a reel. I did like posts about it, but I got all four of these. So I got The Wingspan of Severed Hands by Joanna Conk. I got, um, The Mud Ballad by Joe Quinnell. And I got 17 Names for Skin by Roland Blackburn. And She Who Rolls the Dead by... Maria Abrams. So all these are little horror novellas that I picked up. These up before Romanceathon, and I was hoping to get to them, but I never did. And it's a new to me author. It is Sarah Adams, so I'm hoping to do an author taste test. Um, I have two different series here. One is set in like Charleston, and one is set somewhere else. I don't really remember, but I saw these on Instagram, and they're romantic comedies, um, which I absolutely love rom coms, and I love the pastel cover. So let me show you. I have The Match by Sarah Adams and The Enemy by Sarah Adams. And then I have The Temporary Roomie and The Off Limits Rule. So I absolutely love these covers. These are indie published and it's a new to me author. So I'm really, really excited about those. Um, and then in my Nightworms box, I decided that, you know, I am trying to explore the horror genre more. And one of kind of, that was one of my goals, like my low key goals for this year. Um, so I went ahead and got a Nightworm subscription box. If you don't know about it, it's like a subscription box dedicated to horror but I got both of these in my box. Um, I'm so excited to have this one because I have read several other books by this author, but it did come with a signed book plate. And I also got this one, which is also horror novellas. I've only read up on these after I got them. And this one also came with a signed book plate. So some more, these are like really summery books that I got. Um, I just got It Happened One Summer by Tessa Bailey. Um, and this is, um, I think it's like a Schitt's Creek inspired, um, yeah, a Schitt's Creek inspired rom-com about a Hollywood it girl who's cut off from her wealthy family and exiled to a small Pacific Northwest beach town. Really, really excited about this one, especially because I've been watching Schitt's Creek. I also got It's Been a Pleasure, Nami Blake, which I had this on my wish list. Um, I somehow heard about it and then Sarah from Sarah Shelf says Gwen you need to read this book so I actually went ahead and purchased it even though it was like already on my radar and then my friend Jacqueline gave me um The Night the Lights Went Out by Karen White I've never read anything by this author but I heard about this I believe it was Haley from Haley Hughes that um I heard about this but I absolutely adore this cover I think she said it's like a good summer read so hopefully I'll have time to read it this summer A Reckless Memories this the first book in a series by Katherine Cowles. Cowles and um, I'm really looking forward to it. Another one that I'm hoping to get to this summer. Um, I think it's like a five book series or something like that but I'm really looking forward to starting that. I also got in my Hello Lovely box um, summer box I got a new Britney well not new but um, a newly redesigned cover for Britney C. Cherry book Disgrace and it sounds so freaking good. I want to read it right away. So if you've read this, let me know what you think. I think I'm going to love it because I absolutely loved the other Britney C. Cherry book that I read. I have another one on my shelf, so I need to read both of them. <laughs> I also recently read earlier this year a Megan Quinn book, my first. So I went ahead and picked up The Wedding Date. And um, this one is Even a Do-It-Yourself Queen Can't Go It Alone. So it's about a crafter 
and you know it's a romance so and then let's see I have my book of the month books that I picked up I got 56 days by Catherine Ryan Howard which is about a couple that starts dating right around the time of COVID then COVID happens they're trapped in the house together and then there's like a murder or something um Razor Blade Tears by S.A. Cosby which I want to read this summer for sure I also think my book club is reading one of these so I need to check in on that and then you guys saw my author taste test of Jennifer Werner. So I picked up that summer also at Target. And again, <laughs> I'm hoping to read it this summer. So those are the books that I actually did spend money on this summer. Um, it may seem like a lot, but we're not even halfway through the books. Um, so let me go ahead and try to pick up the pace. These books were either sent to me or I got for free. We'll go through the books that were sent to me first. So a friend in my book club, Rachel, reached out to me and sent me that night because she knows I'm trying to get all of Chevy Stevens books. And it was so kind of her just to, she knew I was looking for it. And she said that she had it and she was willing to send it to me. I appreciate my book club and its members so much. They're the kindest, nicest people in the world. So I really, really appreciate it, Rachel. Thank you so much. I was sent Instamom for a campaign on Instagram, but it actually sounds like a really good book and something that I would be interested in. It's about an Instagram influencer and she falls, she never wants kids or she didn't want kids until she finds this guy that has a kid and like they fall in love and stuff. So very interesting. I also got The Temple House Vanishing by Rachel Donahue and this is an Irish book but it's like a dark academia book and it sounds really, really good. Um, so I was sent this from the publisher as well and I did an Instagram campaign for it. Um, and also it was one of the Libro for like one of their um, early listener copy picks. So I was really excited to pick that up. So hopefully I'll be reading that soon. Also have to support my friend Veronica Wild. Um, sh she sent me her new poetry collection, Love and Gaslight. And I just absolutely love her poetry. I reviewed one of her earlier poetry collections and absolutely loved it. So she sent me this one and she signed it and all of that. And I'm just, oh, I love her poetry. It just like speaks to me and she's such a beautiful person. So I just love having her like work in my possession because I just treasure her as a human. Um, and then I was sent an ARC copy and then I have a finished copy of Nowhere Girl by Cheryl Diamond. And this one sounds crazy, guys. It sounds really crazy. So um, I'll just read you the little top portion. It says, by the age of nine, I will have lived in more than a dozen countries on five continents under six assumed identities. I know how a document is forged how to withstand an interrogation, and most important, how to disappear by the age of nine. So what I love about this is it's all, like it's all these different places. Um, yeah, just look at all of these places. I mean, I think there's more. No, that's it. So I have started reading this one. I didn't get very far, but it has a great opening line. My first near-death experience occurs at the age of four when the brakes fail with my dad at the wheel, sending us hurtling down the Himalayas. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to read that one. All right, now the rest of the books that I got. No, I also got these secondhand. Um, I just picked these up when I was on vacation. The Lovely Bones by Alice Siebold. Um, and Truly Madly Guilty. Um, this one's a little bit thicker than I'll probably, I probably won't be reading this one right away, but they were free, so I went ahead and picked them up. Next set of books that I want to show you are ones that I did a book swap sort of thing with. Um, I went to go see Jacqueline for her birthday, and some other girls came as well, and we just brought books that we were unhauling, and we just like swapped books. It's up The Holiday by T.M. Logan. I think I got this from Jesse, um, And then I got the whole series. I got all of these from K.A. Tucker. I got 10 Tiny Breaths. I got In Her Wake and One Tiny Lie, um, Four Seconds to Lose, and Five Ways to Fall. Now, now I have seen mixed reviews on this series, but now I have it and I can read it and judge for myself. I also got Local Girl Missing. I picked up Between the Lies, I think Apartment 6, um, 
in a dark, dark wood, which I have read, um, but I got rid of my copy and I'm trying to get all of her books so I can do a um, Ruth Ware ranking video. Um, I got a replay. I got this from Jacqueline. She read this hmm, in the backless readathon, I think. Um, but our friend Jenny told us about this book and it sounds really, really good. So she read it um, and now I'm going to read it. Um, she also gave me her copy of The Girl Next Door by Jack Ketchum. I got A Head Full of Ghosts by Paul Tremblay. I got um, this copy of Book Love by Debbie Tung, which I have read one other graphic novel by her but really looking forward to this one. I also got Loveless by Alice Osman. I have read every other book by her, um, including um, Heartstopper Volume 1, 2, and 3. Um, I read Solitaire. Um, I'm trying to read them over there. I Was Born for This, uh, Radio Silence, um, and I also read the two novellas, Nick and Charlie, and maybe This Winter. Um, so yeah, so now I have this one to read. And I also picked up Fake It Till You Make It, which looks like an indie published kind of um, romance novel. And then the last one I got from that swap is this beautiful edition, Book of the Month edition, um, of The Hearts and Visible Furies by John, I don't know how to say the last name, but this is one of my friend Jenny's like favorite books of all time. And she had like multiple copies of it because I was like, isn't that one of your favorite books? Why are you getting rid of it? But I guess she already had like the regular copy that she got. And this is the, the book of the year from 2017 edition. And so it's never used and it's in like such beautiful condition. So when I read this, I'm definitely going to be thinking of my friend Jenny, um, who I just spent the summer with and, ah! but anyway, yeah. So you see the books over here. <laughs> look all oh, it's like in three stacks guys it's okay now the next stack of books are all books that i got at the book exchange so let's go ahead and dive in i think these are from the virginia beach location and the chesapeake location i got the last house guest by megan miranda i've heard mixed things um things you save in a fire by Catherine center i've also heard mixed things I got Pumpkin by Julie Murphy, which I still need to pick up the second book. I got Royal Holiday by Jasmine Guillory, which is part of that series that I'm collecting. I got Sourdough by Robin Sloan, which is a book of the month copy. I got Miracle Creek by Angie Kim, which is a book of the month copy. I got Nothing to See Here by Kevin Wilson, which is a book of the month copy. I got The Kindest Lie by Nancy Johnson, which is a book of the month copy. I picked up this Eileen Hildebrand, Summer of 69. Um, I picked that up and I absolutely love the cover and it actually sounds really, really good. However, um, my friend Sarah reached out to me and let me know that she had heard some problematic stuff about the author and um, I did my own research and I do agree there are definitely some things out there that don't look so good. So I will no longer be supporting this author, but since I already have this one, I might go ahead and read it. I might unhaul it. Um, yeah. I also picked up Dear Edward by Anne. I'm not sure how to say the last name, but I absolutely adore this cover. Um, yeah, and it's, I mean, did someone read this? Because it doesn't look like it. It's in like perfect condition. So another trip to the book exchange, I got Black Buck by Matteo Ascapore, which I've heard great things about this one but it is satire and I usually do not like satire, but I hope this one works for me. Um, it's quite long, almost, no, it's 300 and almost 400, 381 pages, 381 pages. I also got Transcendent King Kingdom by Yaa Jossi. And this is another book that is in absolutely beautiful, like I don't think anybody's read this because the pages are still very stiff see <laughs> so yeah I don't think anybody read that one um and then I got where the crawdads sing which is being made into a movie as you know Delilah Owens um again this is in really good condition um I got the remove by Brandon Hobston which is a book of the month copy but this is a book that my friend Alex has been telling everybody to pick up and read it is a quite chunkier um and I can tell someone absolutely loved it because it's got a lot of dog ears in it so um that 
that's good but I'm very excited to read this um, it will not be on my summer TBR but maybe my winter TBR up crazy rich Asians by Kevin Wong and this is a book that I have watched the movie um, but I've never read the book so I'm excited to have a copy and finally do that and then I saw this which is The Silent Wife by Karen Slaughter and I believe this is part of um, one of her series the Will Trent series or whatever like that but I thought I could just go ahead and read this one and see what I think. Um, and then maybe I'll pick up the Will Trent series. Not really sure, but I do love the cover. So I did get Salem's Lot. So we'll see how that goes. Um, I also got Luster by Raven Leilani. And I've heard mixed things. I've heard people that were like, wow, this is the craziest book that I've read. And then other people were like, what's the point? So I thought I could read it and judge. It's under 250, 227 pages. I recently did a video of short thrillers that you could like read in a day. And this would have been another one that I could have added to that list. And I also picked up Little Secrets by Jennifer Hillier. And the last book is The Knockout Queen, which is a book of the month copy. That's the last book, you guys. I'm surrounded by books. I'm worried for my TBR shelf because I don't know how they're going to fit on the bookshelf. But like, I think I have enough reading to do because I need to read so bad. Anyway, okay, so don't forget my link um, for Ana Luisa is in the description box of this video. And if you click my link and shop their website, you can get 20% off this summer, which is an amazing deal for their already low, low prices. I particularly like these sort of earrings and I really like this Starburst necklace, but I also really like the Smile necklace. They also have like, It'll be like Happy or Brooklyn or like things like that. Just check out the website. You won't regret it. Um, but yeah, I hope you're having a great summer, you guys. Let me know what you've been up to. Let me know what you're excited about on my TBR. Let me know if you're going to shop and buy something at Anna Luisa. Don't forget, description box has the link for you guys. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you're having a lovely day or night. Let me know how your summer's going in the comment section down below. And I'll see you guys again in another video very soon. Bye!